nha. Hi YouTubers, today we are going to install crossbars uh, on my roof rack today. Okay, if you notice up here, I only have the rails going forward and back. I don't have the crossbars going across from left to right. So I went online and I purchased a pair of crossbars. And these are what they look like. Okay, you could, you could tell the one side says forward with an arrow. So this, we're gonna face it this way going forward. Okay, when I took it out of the box, I kind of examined it for quality and everything. I mean, it's not bad considering I only paid about, what, 65 bucks for it. Um, I'm mainly buying it just for looks, but uh, as far as the quality goes, it's not too bad. It's not too shabby. It's not original Lexus, but I mean, it's 65 bucks, guys. So I looked at it. I did a fit check, and there's some minor adjustments that I had to make. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you how to install it if you do decide to buy this brand. I'll copy the link on there for you. Okay, so come on closer. This is what it looks like. Okay, on the top, you're going to have one screw. This screw is to make this clip right here that's going to hang on to your underneath your railings. This screw will tighten it to make it close the gap and to make it tight to hold on to the your OEM rails. When you loosen this screw, it will release this clamp and it'll go wider so you could take it out of the rails, okay? All right, and right here, same thing on this side. Now, if I turn it over and look underneath, this is what it looks like, okay? Here's the grabber for the rails underneath. This right here is a spring. You could go back and forth depending on how wide your rails are apart, okay? The other side is fixed. There is no spring, okay? So it's not adjustable, okay? So what I did was I loosened up all the screws, okay? And for this installation, I found out that I'm going to have to extend this out as far as possible for the position I want on this car because I don't want the rails too close to each other. I want them far apart, okay? So what I did was I took the Allen wrenches that came with the kit, okay? There's one big one, one small one. The small one are for the underneath um, once okay so what I did was I removed the most internal screw tossed it out of the way and I furthered this out as far as I would go okay and I snugged it up I didn't tighten it just snug it up where it's still able to move but not too loose where I'm gonna require a lot of work once I go up there to try to tighten it upside down okay see It'll still move, but it's still snug. So now I have a lot of play to be able to adjust it while it's on the car. Okay, so right now I want to remove these clamps right here that's going to clamp on the rails. I want to install it once I adjust this on the rail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove both screws that's on the top to remove the clamp. Okay, here's the clamp that's going to grab underneath the rails. I'm going to take that and I'm going to hang on to it. Same thing with this side. I'm going to remove the clamp. See? And I'm going to install this when it's up on there, on the car. So right now, all you see is just the rubber padding. The reason why I'm removing the clamps is because I want to adjust it to the rails without those clamps being in the way. Okay, so let's follow me to the car. Make sure you don't put this upside down or else these screws will fall out. And remember the direction of the arrow, forward. Okay, let's go to the top of the car. Come on up. Okay, now if you look at the OEM plastic cap right here, I'm going to use it as a line of reference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the very back line and I'm going to line it up with the very uh, uh, back part of the cross rails. I'm going to put it right there, okay? And I'm going to extend this out as far as possible so it closes the gap right there, okay? There you go. And I'm going to do it to the other side. I'm going to use this same point of reference to line up the other side. Okay, put it over here. 
okay? So when I moved it to the line of reference on this side, I'm gonna pull it out so it, it extends all the way to the other side, and this is all the way to this side. So both sides are at its farthest point where it hits the rails, okay? Once you hit the rails, and this is right at this reference point, I'm gonna go back over there and check the reference point one more time just to make sure everything's straight. Now, if you look at this side, it's right on the line. And this portion right here is backed up all the way against the rails. So now I know it's a perfect fit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the clamps the part with the hook right here is going to grab underneath these rails. Okay, and this screw right here is going to screw onto this bolt right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath, grab the rails with this with this hook right here. There you go. See it grabs. And I'm going to go underneath the rails just like this and make sure the holes line up with the clamp. There you go. A little tricky. Got to wiggle it around. It's got a mind of its own, but you get the idea. You can lift it up a little bit if you need to. There you go. Now you want to grab your Allen wrench, the big one. Not the small one, but the big one. Make sure everything's lined up. And hold on to the bottom clamp and try to find the hole. Put it in. Oh, I need a power drill. Okay, there it's locked. Now I'm going to go to the other side, do the same thing. Okay, I got the clamp. The clamp's going to go underneath. Screw it down. Done. Okay. I'm going to take the small Allen wrench, which is over here, and I'm going to tighten the small screws that are underneath here, just like this. Tighten. Okay, I'm going to go to the other side, tighten them up. Okay. Bingo. Done. It's all done. Look at that. What do you guys think? All right, cool. Thank you. Thanks for watching.